Algebra 1, number 2.5a, multiplication of rational numbers. That's this unit, 2.5. I'm going to talk about multiplying a positive number and a negative number in this video. We know from third grade that multiplication is just repeated addition. 3 times 4 is 4 plus 4, 4 plus 4, isn't it? We can multiply a positive and a negative number, and we're going to get a negative product. We just multiply their absolute values, and the product will be negative. When we multiply unlike signs, positive to a negative or negative to a positive, it doesn't matter which one's first and which one's second, the product is going to be negative. Just remember to simplify the product, okay? Like if we have fractions or something. All right, so take a look at this table that I made. I've got a column of factors of 3 and some factors that are being multiplied to 3. And we can see what's happening. 3 times 3 in repeated addition is just 3 plus 3 plus 3. That's 9. And we go down by an increment of 1, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, almost like this column of factors is a number line, but it's going vertical, right? Well, as we do 3 times 2, we get 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 0 is 0. And look what happens when we get to 3 times negative 1 and 3 times negative 2, and 3 times negative 3. If you look at these products, it's skip counting and going up into the positives as we go up and down into the negatives as we go down. See? 0, 3, 6, 9, ne 0, negative 3, negative 6, negative 9. So we can tell what would happen if we did 3 times a positive 4 or 3 times a negative 4. It would just keep going up into the positives or going down into the negatives. See? And the same thing if we used 4. 4 times 1, 4 times 0, 4 times 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. It's the 0 is the center, and as we go up, it goes into the positives, and as we go down, it goes into the negatives, and it skip counts by 4s. See that? So, if you're really confused, I've got some links in the description of this video for more videos about multiplying rational numbers from, like, 7th grade and stuff, so they're a lot easier to understand. Maybe between this video and those videos, it'll help you, okay? So we're going to multiply 7 times negative 4. And what we do is we find their absolute values and multiply them. And because they have unlike signs, it's going to be a negative product. So the absolute value of 7 is 7, and the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. 7 times 4 is 28. Unlike signs, negative answer, negative product, negative 28. Look at this one. We've got a negative one-fourth times a positive two-thirds, and they've got unlike signs. So right away we know the answer, the product, is going to be a negative. So we can just automatically put that to get us started. Then we find their absolute value, we multiply them, and we get two-twelfths. Two times two is two, four times three is twelve. We can simplify this by dividing the numerator and the denominator by two, and we get negative one-sixth. See? If we've got decimals, same thing, negative 3.1 times a positive 4, we can stack them, because that's easier to multiply decimals when we stack them, and 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, there was one hop in the equation, so there's one hop in the answer, in the product, and because they're unlike signs, it's going to be a negative, so we have negative 12.4. And then for this one, we've got a positive half and a negative 5 eighths. We know the answer is going to be a negative because they're unlike signs, and we just multiply straight across. 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 8 is 16. We've got negative 5 sixteenths. So just remember, when we multiply unlike signs, we're going to get a product that's negative. And it doesn't matter if the positive or negative is first. Positive to a negative or negative to a positive. Our product is going to be a negative, okay? All right, so that's how we can multiply a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive, okay? And in 2.5b, we're going to talk about multiplying a negative to a negative, all right? So I hope you're doing okay. I'm trying to keep up with the school year. I got a little bit behind finishing eighth grade math over the summer. And keep trying. We're going to make it through Algebra 1, and you're going to be fine, okay? I try to explain as thoroughly as I can. Bye.